Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing by and welcome to the 360 Digitech third quarter 2022 earnings conference call. Please also note today's event is being recorded. At this time, I'd like to turn the conference call over to Ms. Mandy Dong, IR Director. Please go ahead, Mandy. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our third quarter 2022 earnings conference call. All results were issued earlier today and can be found on our IR website. Joining me today are Mr. Wu Haisheng, our CEO and director. Mr. Alex Xu, our CFO and director. Before we begin the quarter remarks, I'd like to remind you of our discovery statement in our earnings class release, which also applies to this call. We may refer to forward-looking statements based on our current plans, estimates, and projections. Also, this call includes discussion of certain non-GAAP measures. Please refer to our earnings release for a conciliation between non-GAAP and GAAP 1. Last, unless otherwise stated, all figures mentioned are in RB. I will now turn the call over to our CEO, Mr. Wu Haisheng. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to report another strong quarter. Thank you. First of all, let me share some recent developments in the market environment. Uh,从行业本体发展而言, 推动市场公平竞争方面取得了积极进展，为消费信贷市场的健康发展创造了很好的生态环境。China's consumer finance industry has reached gears from rapid expansion to quality growth in the past two years. Under the new regulatory framework, the industry has achieved substantial gains in preventing systematic risk protecting consumer rights and benefits, driving compliant business operations, and promoting fair competition. This has created a healthy ecosystem for the development of the consumer finance market. So,在过去两年,监管体系的逐步完善和整改工作的持续推进,行业监管环境已经趋于平稳。正如 银保监会主席郭树清在党的二十大报告辅导组本中发表的署名文章中提到，坚持金融创新必须在审慎监管的前提下进行。所以，互联网平台、金融业务实施常态化监管，推动平台经济规范健康持续发展，预示着行业正在
等诸多因素的影响，中国的消费及小微信贷市场，无论在需求端还是风险端，都面临着诸多挑战。三季度相比二季度，我们看到信贷需求有所回暖，风险也更趋于平稳，市场环境整体是向好的。同时，金融机构对于高质量资产的需求也持续，为这个行业注入了流动性，提升了行业的资金效率。Since the beginning of 2022, the macro economy and COVID control have put pressure on China's consumer and SME credit markets in terms of market demand and asset quality. However, The market started to slowly improve in Q3, as we saw credit demand began to gradually recover and asset quality became relatively more stable than Q2. Meanwhile, financial institutions' demand for high-quality assets continued to inject liquidity into the industry, boosting funding supply efficiency. 下面我和各位分享一下这个季度我们的运营情况。Now moving on to our operations. 在复杂多变的宏观环境下，我们秉持审慎发展的经营策略，以科技驱动有质量的增长。鉴于我们一贯的务实、严谨、风控优先的经营理念，在宏观环境不利的情况下，更加凸显出我们业务的韧性。以下我从几个方面详细展开一下。Given the macro environment with complexity and uncertainties, we maintained a prudent operating strategy and leveraged technology to drive quality growth. Thanks to our practical, prudent, and risk management-first operating philosophy, our business demonstrated resilience and strength in several key areas despite the macro headwinds. 首先。我们在平衡增长和资产质量之间取得了非常不错的进展。First, we achieved solid progress in balancing growth with asset quality. 三季度我们的撮合放款量为一千一百零七亿，同比和环比都达到了百分之十三的增长。贷贷余额为一千六百亿，同比增长百分之二十，环比增长百分之六。In Q3, total loan origination and facilitation volume was RMB, 110.7 billion, up 13.13 percent, both year-on-year and Q1Q. Outstanding loan balance was RMB, 160 billion, up 20.20 percent, year-on-year, and 6 percent, Q1Q. 三种零借条作为国内领先的信贷科技服务品牌，知名度不断提升。截止到三季度，我们的累计注册用户首次突破两亿人，累计授信用户及累计借款用户分别达到四千三百万与两千六百三十万，同比增长百分之十七点六和百分之十二点八。As a leading brand for credit tech service in China. Our 360 Jie Tiao brand became more and more well known. As of the end of Q3, cumulative number of registered users exceeded 200 million for the first time. The cumulative number of users receiving credit lines and conducted drawdown on credit was approximately 43 million and 26.3 million, respectively, up by 17.6%. And 12.8 percent year over year. From last year's third quarter, we adapted the operating environment and the regulatory environment, and reduced the risk of default, and tightened the asset allocation process. This reduced the risk of default, and tightened the asset allocation process. After the third quarter, the asset allocation was gradually reduced. In the third quarter, the asset allocation was gradually reduced. 略有下降。从风险指标来看，我们的资产质量也得到了显著的改善。Day One 的入催率从二季度的百分之四点九
降低到三季度的百分之四点五，并且仍然在持续优化。我们三十天回收率也从 Q 二的百分之八十五点二提升到 Q 三的百分之八十六点四。Since the Q3 of 2021, we have proactively reduced pricing and optimized user structure in response to market and regulatory change. The decent progress in this area effectively mitigates the negative impact of the macro environment. As our existing loans gradually reach maturity, our average price decreased slightly from Q2. Our asset quality significantly improved. A1 delinquency rate went down to 4.5% in Q3 from 4.9% in Q2, and is still improving. The M1 collection rate increased to 86.4% in Q3 from 85.2% in Q2. 在优化客群结构的同时，我们也持续的，嗯、呃，优化我们的。这个客群价值，提升我们用户的生命周期价值。根据我们以前的经验，优质客群，不管从借款需求还是从还款能力上，表现都会更加稳定，可以为公司创造更加可观的长期价值。嗯，表现在我们的经营指标上 ，Q 三我们的人均授信额度和比均借款规模分别达到一万四千元。以及八千元以上，同比增长分别达到百分之十九点三和百分之三十九点八，平均借款期限也增加到十二个月，相比去年同期增加了一个月左右。我们相信，从长长期来看，呃，客群优化的效果会带来更高的经营效率和更稳定的业绩表现。While upgrading customer base. We continue to optimize business operations on high-quality users to increase their lifetime value. Based on our experience, high-quality users are usually more stable in credit demand and repayment capability. Therefore, they generate more considerable long-term value for our business. In terms of key operating metrics, the average credit line per user and average ticket per drawdown in Q3. For more than RMB 14,000 and RMB 8,000, respectively, up by 19.3% and 39.8% year-on-year. The average loan tenor also increased to 12 months in Q3, roughly one month longer compared to the same period last year. We believe that an upgraded customer base will translate into enhanced operating efficiency. And a more stable business performance in the long run. 在获客方面，随着我们的客群结构持续迭代，以及对于优质客群的洞察不断加深，我们的渠道结构也得以不断优化，精准的获客能力以及获客效率都得到了显著提升。Q3 新增授信用户数达到一百七十一万人。环比增加百分之十九，呃，同时我们的营销费用基本上与 Q2 持平，单授信用户的获客成本下降百分之十五。Q3 我们与短视频、社交媒体、搜索引擎、长视频、外卖等场景深入合作，触达用户的场景更加多元化。通过我们的 RTA 模型的升级，我们与平台。共创等方式，进一步的精准识别我们的目标客户，提升了我们的获客质量与效率。升级之后的，呃，智能实时投放模型，对于我们全网设备的识别率提升到百分之九十，我们对优质客群的识别能力提升了百分之二十，大幅的增强了我们在信息流的投放效果。我们也将这一能力复制到。应用商店等其他平台，获客效率未来还会有进一步提升的空间。On the customer front, as we upgraded our customer mix and accumulated better know-how about our high-quality users, 
We optimized the structure of our customer acquisition channels. This greatly improved our capability and efficiency to acquire target users. In Q3, the number of new users with granted credit line increased to 1.71 million, up by 19.19% Q1Q, while our marketing expense remained almost flat compared to Q2. The acquisition cost per user with granted credit line declined by 15.15% from Q2. Meanwhile, we further expanded and diversified the customer acquisition channels by working with different types of traffic platforms, including short and long form videos, social media, search engines, and food delivery, etc. In addition, we improved our ability to identify users, especially high quality users, and enhanced the efficiency of user acquisition by upgrading our RTA models and jointly developing models with these partner platforms. For instance, empowered by our upgraded RTA models, our ability to identify device improved to 90%, 90% in Q3. And our ability to identify high quality user improved by more than 20% Q on Q. This greatly magnified the effectiveness of our online advertising. We also apply such capabilities to other channels such as app stores, which will further improve our efficiency in these channels as well. Kujitanwe 大数据与技术赋能三季度以科技赋能为主的轻资产业务支持合规金融营与本地化部署并存的混合云模式全新解决方案中包含了二十天急速从零搭建零售信贷业务线上线下场景全覆盖系统部署完全合规等特性整体上形成了赋能中小银行零售信贷转型的系统解决方案和业务
where financial cloud service and the local deployment work side by side. Featuring setup of retail credit infrastructure from scratch in 20 days, online and offline coverage, and system deployment in full compliance. Our new solutions offer small and medium-sized banks one-stop solutions of transforming and growing their retail credit business. Going forward, as we facilitate more transactions for a platform with stable asset quality in good track records, we will expand our collaboration with financial institutions in depth and breadth. This will further boost the percentage of our capital light and the tech solution business in the total mix in the long run. Yu 截止到Q3末 Q3达到27%，且我们估计在四季度可以稳定在相对的低位。在ABS的发行方面，本季度我们发行了27亿的ABS，平均成本机制百分之五。相信随着我们客群结构的进一步的优化迭代，我们在资金端的优势也会更加
we have completed most of the required rectification items and received the positive feedback from regulators. For the credit agency reform, or Duan Zhi Lian in Chinese, we are implementing the transforming plans together with credit agency and our funding partners. In Q3, we facilitated the very first loan in the new credit rating system, namely Duan Zhi Lian, and received recognition from the regulator. We are now proactively implementing the plan. 这里我也跟大家同步一下我们在香港二次上市的进展。我们已经今天上午在香港联交所网站上传了 here, let me provide an update on our secondary listing in Hong Kong stock market. This morning, we submitted a post-hearing information pack, PHIP in short, to the website of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. We have taken the interest of our current shareholder into full consideration in pursuing this listing. We believe that we will be able to optimize our investor structure and boost liquidity through the Hong Kong secondary listing. While enhancing our operations, we always keep in mind our social responsibility. Kurikanting,为广大,个人和家庭,提供安全,快捷,普惠的,金融科技服务,创造美好生活。通过一系列赋能金融机构的科技实践,运用AI和银计算,科技助力金融服务,提升质效,创造可能。将金融之水引到真
We achieved solid growth and improved our risk performance, demonstrating the strong resilience of our business. Key metrics show that our business is on track and we are confident we will meet our guidance for 2022.呃，展望未来，宏观环境依然充满了诸多挑战，但从长期来看，科技驱动金融普惠、知识实体经济发展，为社会创造价值的底层逻辑没有变化。无论是从借款人还是从金融机构的角度，这个市场依然存在大量未
mainly due to lower funding costs and longer loan tenure. Revenue from platinum service, Capital Light, was 1.2 billion, compared to 1.2 billion in Q2 and 2 billion a year ago. The year-on-year decline was mainly due to product mix change in platform services and decline of average pricing of Capital Light loan facilitation. During the quarter, Capital Light loan facilitation, ICE, and other technology solutions combined account for roughly 58% of total loan volume. Given the still changing micro environment, we continued to increase the portion of the loans processed through ICE and other technology solutions to further mitigate potential risks. These solutions normally have different commercial terms compared to the regular capital light loan facilitation. In the long run, we will continue to pursue tech-driven business model while striking a balance between various forms of non-risk-bearing solutions based on microenvironment and operational conditions. During the quarter, average IRR prices of the loans we originated and or facilitated declined modestly to just below 22%, well within the 24% rate cap requirement. We expect pricing to be relatively stable for the coming quarters. Sales and marketing expenses increased by approximately 2% sequentially in Q3. The slower pace of increase reflects our continued effort to improve the efficiency or effectiveness of our user acquisition system and drive cost efficiency. Please note, during the quarter, we added approximately 1.7 million new credit line users compared to approximately 1.4 million in Q2. Unit cost to acquire a new credit line user declined approximately 15% sequentially. As such, average cost per dollar amount new credit line also declined by similar magnitude Q on Q. As always, we will continue to use lifecycle ROI and LTV as key metrics to determine the pace and scope of our user acquisition strategy to ensure the sustainability and the profitability of our operations. Overall, risk profile of our loan portfolio continue to improve in Q3 due to the contributions from new loans from higher quality users. But impacts from micro uncertainty and the latest outbreak of COVID case across the nation were still somewhat visible. Although we continue to take a prudent approach in booking provisions against the potential credit loss, Re-evaluation of previous quarter's provision yield sizable write-backs as micro-condition improved q on q Total new provisions across four different categories for loans originated and facilitated during the quarter was approximately $1.8 billion, while approximately $300 million previous provisions were written back. With strong operating results and increased contribution from capital light model, our leverage ratio, which is defined as risk-bearing loan balance divided by shareholders' equity, was at historical low of 3.8 times in Q3 compared to 4.3 times a year ago. We expect to see rather stable leverage ratio for the time being until capital light contribution grow beyond current range bound in the future. We generate approximately 1.6 billion cash from operations in Q3 compared to 1.1 billion in Q2. The significant sequential increase in operating cash flow was mainly driven by better working capital management. If you recall, last quarter, due to some COVID-related administrative procedure delays, we were unable to collect certain receivables in time. Those receivables were eventually settled in Q3, boosting our cash flow. Total cash and cash equivalents was 10.8 billion in Q3, 
compared to 11.4 billion in Q2. Non-restricted cash was approximately 7.2 billion in Q3 versus 7 billion in Q2. In the last couple of quarters, we took a more conservative approach to deploy, to deploy our cash in day-to-day business, mainly due to micro uncertainty. Ideally, a significant portion of our cash would normally be allocated to support the security deposit with our institution partners or to fund on balance sheet lending in normal business course. Non-GAAP net profit was $1.04 billion compared to $1.02 billion in Q2. As we continue to generate healthy cash flow from operations, we believe our current cash position is sufficient to support the growth of our business, to invest in key technologies, to satisfy potential regulatory requirements, and to return to our shareholders. In accordance with the dividend policy approved by our board last year, we declared another quarterly dividend of US dollar 16 cents per ADS for Q3. Finally, regarding our outlook for the fourth quarter, although we managed to deliver a solid operating and financial results so far this year in a very challenging micro environment, we still want to maintain a prudent approach to plan our business for the near term, particularly given the recent resurgence of COVID cases nationwide and the subsequent restrictive measures taken by local authorities. At this junction, we expect total loan volume for Q4 to be between RMB 102.5 billion and RMB 112.5 billion, representing year-on-year growth of 6 to 16%. As always, this forecast reflects the company's current and preliminary views, which is subject to material change. With that, I would like to conclude my prepared remarks. Operator, we can now take some questions. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do wish to ask a question, please press zero one on your telephone keypad. If you wish to withdraw your question, you may do so by pressing zero two to cancel. For those who can speak Chinese, please kindly ask your question in Chinese first, followed by English translation. In addition, in order to have enough time to address everyone on the call, Please keep it to one question and one follow-up and return to the queue if you have more questions. Once again, please press zero one on your telephone keypad to ask your question. The first question comes from Jada Lee. Please go ahead. Uh, 首先恭喜公司取得如此稳健的这个业绩我是中银公司的李亚达那今天呢有两个公司想向关联层请教一下第一个呢是可能关于我们的放款结构那我看到我们这次可能从放款结构这个角度来看呢有披露这个风控萨
has dropped a lot. So can you give us more color on what have been done differently on the customer acquisition strategy this quarter uh, compared with before, and what is the trend in the future? Thanks. Thank 从一开始的这个 Okay, let me translate. Uh, cap upgrading has always remained our long-term strategy for our company. In the recent years, we gradually advanced to more tax solutions, starting from capital right to ICE to RM SARS models. Recently, we are rolling out a hybrid new business model that provides both our leading credit tax system and the operation agent service. All of these tax service caters to a customized needs of different financial institutions. The 我们将会选择，Tegrid更高的模式去深入的做，嗯，扩大到我们更多的这个银行客户里去。所以未来我们嗯，或许不会嗯，同时开展这么多的这个模式，而是会选择嗯，相对Tegrid高的模式去做大做
。嗯，第二方面是我们在渠道的多元化方面，嗯，也取得了一些积极的进展。我们不仅是在嗯信息流的投放，我们在嗯应用商店的这种嗯模型的那个建设和算法方面，嗯，包括在搜索引擎。在外卖以及手机厂商的这个深度合作方面，都取得了嗯显著进展，尤其是在嗯、呃、游戏厂商的合作方面，我们在 Q 三也敏锐的抓住了嗯、呃、在微信上非常流行的一款游戏叫《羊了个羊》，我们非常敏锐的抓住了这一波嗯、呃、流量，取得了非常喜人的效果。Moreover, we also Further expand and diversify our customer acquisition channels. For example, we not only upgrade our online advertising channels, but also apply RTA model on App Store channels. And also, we cooperate with a lot of traffic platforms, including the uh, takeout platforms, App Stores, etc. In addition, we pay close attention to the market. For example, this year there、uh, there is a very popular mobile game in Chinese, Yang Le Yang on WeChat. We closely watch the market, see that opportunity to acquire our good quality customer. 对了，在杨乐杨这个游戏上，我们据我们所知，我们团队可能是嗯、呃、唯一一家嗯、呃、这个作为新代科技公司跑出嗯、呃、流量的一个。一个跑出流量的一个一个案例吧。As far as we know, we are the only credit tech firm that sees the traffic benefit of Yang Le Yang game. 嗯，从未来的这个趋势方面来讲，嗯、呃，我们还是采取这个谨慎的发展策略。嗯、呃，我们嗯、呃、嗯会把这个。用户的长期生命周期价值作为公司经营的嗯结果结果指标，嗯单方面的这个授信成本呢，可能还是一个过程，所以我们更加关注的是我们是否拥有了足够多的优质的客户，这些客户伴随我们一起共同成长，共同去创造更更长期的价值。只要这个指标是良好的，我们相信随着这个经济的回暖，我们会。在营销方面，嗯，做得越来越好。Overall, we continue to take the prudent business approach and prioritize that long-term lifetime value of customers in our operations. We not only just care about the short-term cost for a customer acquisition. With that, good quality customers will bring down costs and create more value. 好，来，我我就说这些。啊，好的，非常清楚，谢谢管理层。Next operator. Thank you. The next question comes from Hans Fan from CLSA. Please go ahead. 好的，感谢管理层给我提问的机会啊。呃，我是中信里昂的范海硕，韩范。呃，我这边想请教两个问题，第一个还是关于咱们这个上市计划哈，呃，因为也确实比较新鲜，能看到咱们是第一个这个呃 online lender， 然后回到这个港股上市的，呃，请教一下我们这个大概时间表是怎么样子，然后呢，我们未来会不会有计划也想转成这个主呃就是港股主要上市，因为现在是二十上市是吧？所以这个是第一个问题。呃，第二个问题呢是关于我们的 A P R， 就是能不能给我们分享一下，如果往前展望，结合这个信贷需求啊，结合我们自己的意愿啊，监管的要求等等，我们的 A P R 的趋势会怎么样啊？因为感觉，呃，过去几个季度还是在一个下行的趋势，未来会不会会不会趋趋稳？这个是我第二个问题。嗯、um, ，So I have two questions. This is Hans Fan from C S A. First one is is regarding the the um Hong Kong listing plan. Uh, congratulations to that because this is the first online lender in ADR of China to go back to Hong Kong for releasing.、Uh, just wondering about the details regarding timelines and also,、um, is there any plan to go for primary listing because currently it's a secondary.、Um, yeah, so that's the first question. The second one is more about ATR. 
Uh, currently, we are seeing in the past few quarters, our APR has been on a downtrend. Um, but just wondering what's the outlook for ADR, oh, sorry, a, a, APR, if we consider the, the demand side and also regulatory direction and also our um, strategy. Thank you very much. Okay, sure. Uh, so for the Hong Kong listing timetable, uh, as you know, we, we just released the PHIP uh, uh, this morning, and uh, <clears throat> the uh, basically our intention is to follow the uh, the normal procedure of the Hong Kong Exchange uh, to push for the final uh, official prospectus release, and then the uh, marketing roadshow, um, and then the uh, the listing. Uh, so uh, that's our intention. Uh, in terms of exactly how many days or how long it will take, uh, you can refer to some other cases. I believe uh, the normal course uh, in the in a regular basis somewhere within two weeks time frame. Uh, so that's roughly. And uh, secondly, it's more about uh, the uh, the due primary listing uh, in the future. Uh, that certainly is the area or the direction we're uh, kind of looking at. Uh, seriously, uh, because there are, certain, there are certain benefits to become a dual primary listing company in Hong Kong. Uh, but I guess first you need to finish the secondary listing, uh, and then you, when you meet certain criteria, uh, then you can apply for the for the dual primary. So it's kind of a step by step uh, thing. Uh, we're just right now still trying to finish the first step, um, and somewhere down the road, when the condition is ready, uh, we're pursuing uh, the next one.还有你来下一个吧。好，关于APR，APR我们在三季度呢，比二季度相对略微有一点下降，主要原因还是因为嗯我们的存量里面呢有一些过去相对较高的呢逐步到期，嗯，所以在嗯九三呢就会形成一个
uh, that is uh, uh, demanding more new loans. So where are this uh, uh, better loan demand uh, come from? Uh, for example, which sectors or segments? Uh, thanks a lot. Yes, um, overall price in Q3 is a little bit lower than 22%。嗯，第二个关于这个需求回升，嗯，我们嗯过去所面向的这个客群，嗯，主要是消费型的客群，消费呢，其实嗯在行业属性上。相对不是特别的明显因为消费是一个普适性的需求我们看到的更多的呢可能是跟疫情所在的风控际遇的相关性会高一些我们看到在一些疫情得到很大缓解的地区需求的恢复是非常明显的 in terms of the business nature, actually consumer loan is quite non-cyclical. Uh, we, we see this demand gradual recovery is com comes from the uh, customers in the area that are previously hit by COVID. Okay, um, uh, I just want to probably add a, a little bit of color on that. So, uh, Leon, to your question, uh, really on the consumer side, we don't really particularly tracking uh, their professionals, they, you know, uh, uh, kind of a categories and everything. So that, that's, uh, that's not the kind of the focus point. And then also that's uh, not the kind of data we can provide in terms of which professional getting better in terms of uh, improvement. Uh, but just like I mentioned, uh, if you can, you, you sort of you can imagine that, um, you know, for those areas that being locked down, for example, in Shanghai during the, uh, you know, March, April, uh, and May period, uh, when the lockdown get uh, released, uh, that certainly will be a pretty noticeable rebound, uh, you know, in 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 demand. Uh, so that's kind of a, a driven, uh, at least in part. Uh, driven this uh, recovery uh, in the uh, in the third quarter. Okay, thank you. Okay, th thanks a lot. Understood. Uh, thank you. Thank you. The next question comes from Thomas Chong from Jeffries. Please go ahead. 晚上好,谢谢管理层接受我的提问 呃，的情况下呢，我们看到了我们的 guidance。呃，的该呃应该怎么想呢？什么情况下会做这个low management uh, for taking my questions. Uh, my first question is about uh, the competitive environment. Uh, given that um, the APR uh, is uh, trending down for a lot of the uh, fintech companies, I uh, just want to get a sense about how we should think about the landscape uh, in the future. And the second question is about um, the ticket size. Uh, can management comments about uh, the trend in recent quarters? And uh, my third question is about the Q4 guidance. Um, given the pandemic situation, 
is very dynamic. Um, just want to get a sense of, about uh, the high end and the low end of the guidance and um, uh, how the, uh, uh, under what scenario should we expect it to hit the low end, should we expect the pandemic uh, to worsen uh, from the current situation? Uh, thank you.好,谢谢,我先说一下啊,一会儿来看看补充。第一个关于竞争格局的。本身有了一个更加有竞争力的表现。所以这十四家平台将会在未来具备更好的这个合规和竞争地位。Platform that are summoned for this meeting are more competitive in compliance views in the future. Um,嗯,第一个角度是呢,大家还是在不同的客群里面,嗯,略微有一些这个差异,所以并不是在完全同质化的客群里去,嗯,产生竞争。另外就是这个行业是一个相对来讲客群以及规模无比广大的市场所以现在谈十几家市场十几家公司来分享这么巨大的市场从而产生直接竞争可能还并不是那么的明显吧。Secondly, if you look at the fourteen platforms. We want to point out, number one, the credit, mar the credit market is a large market with multiple layers. Different players may cross over across the different layers a little bit. Secondly, this is a vast market that we do not see that different players will compete directly head to head. The second, 宏观不明朗情况下的这个TikSize 因此我们从结果上看,我们的TikSize有所变高。所以来看的话,也就是体现了我们在今年以来客群置换工作取得了显著的一个进步。There are two factors when we consider TK size. Number one factor, uh, considering the macro environment, since we took the prudent approach, that uh, risk management strategy will not drive up our TK size. Second point, as we are continuously upgrading our customer base this year, we are seeing the good customers can bring more value, create longer, long lifetime value, and the larger ticket size. And the Tisanga, when Q4 the outlook, you want to put on your shirt, you will be the city to show the in Grimo the eager, you don't see the year show. Not in there. 我们感觉可能流动性的月初不会很大甚至很充裕因此我们对于我们low-end的一个预计呢主要取决于进入冬季以来的这个疫情的因素以及我们的防控的一个政策的变化 As for our outlook for Q4 uh, there are several factors we take into consideration. Uh, number one, there are usually seasonality in funding supply in Q4 due to the operation of banking industry. 
However, as everyone knows, there are sufficient staff in China financial system this year. We do not see this sector come into effect this year. Uh, second reason is the macro environment and the COVID. This one we think is the major, uh, major, uh, major concern for our guidance. How Alex, you can you have more on that? Sure, uh, Thomas. I just want sure. to add a little bit to your last question regarding the Q4 guidance. Um, basically, the guidance re reflects our uh, view of the current sort of micro condition. Uh, obviously, you know the the. You know the Chinese market these days are very dynamic, uh, given the uh, the COVID-related policy changing or pending changing, as well as a reaction by the local authority to those kind of uh, new COVID policies. Uh, we heard different kind of messages. Some say the local, some certain re local areas are more uh, aggressive to kind of a reopening. Uh, where some others still maintain a kind of restrictive kind of stance there. So it's kind of a, you know, changing dynamic. Uh, but based on what we can see today, uh, I think the, the guidance we provide in the Q4 is within a comfortable level. Uh, then obviously if, say, for the for the second half of this quarter, uh, things getting better, then, you know, we'll, we'll probably see a better performance uh, and vice versa. So, you know, that's only based on information we get today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's no more questions. TA management, back to you for the conclusion remarks. Okay, thank you again, everyone, to join us for this uh, conference call. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us offline. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's call. You may now disconnect.